How's it going everyone? Akibana Zero here and I'm ready to play a game called Rage in Peace. As if I didn't have enough ragey moments already with Bloodborne and Dark Souls and all of that stuff. I was given a key for this game by the uh, by the developers at a, another indie studio and they were the ones who also gave me the key for Sinner Sacrifice for Redemption which I played on my stream on Twitch which was... It was kind of ragey, yeah, but apparently this one is meant to make you rage even more. That's why it's called Rage in Peace. Now, t looking at these cartoony uh, graphics, I have I, I, I have a feeling that this is nothing like Sinner or nothing like Dark Souls or anything like that. But I'm still quite curious to give that a go. So let's see how much are we going to rage with this game. New story. Timmy Malino, he was, date, date of birth is November 11th, 1991, date of, de date of death, he's de dead already, November 24th, 2018, extraordinarily ordinary morning person, alright, morning person, not lo loved, rarely drama, sadly, that, that, that's a lot of words, this guy seems to have like a really miserable life, what is a goldfish mode? Goldfish mode will help ease the rage and peace experience for players who want to enjoy the journey more. No, we don't want to use the goldfish mode, do we? It's not recommended for the best game experience. Of course, it's rage and peace. We're supposed to rage, yeah? All right. Anyway, we're, we're just going to play. Ooh, story mode. Huh? We're diving into something. Hey, Timmy. Okay. We're in the soup. Is he dead already? Is this what killed him? Earlier this morning, I was given an assignment named Timothy Malinu. Malinu? Malinu? It's not exactly six in the morning. <sighs> hmm. Ah. Just a ending beginning monkey melody. <laughs> what? So he's just going through his morning routine, getting his uh, clothes ready, taking a shower, putting his tie on. It looks like he's crying blood, isn't he? Extremely ordinary he is. Boring, almost. Kind of reminds me of my life. Ordinary life, ordinary routines, ordinary days. He thinks whatever happens in life happens just because. Ah, we're an actuary. But as ordinary as he might be, for me, his his will always be the most ordinary. <laughs> I, I, I didn't quite catch the rest of that. This is the story of the day Timmy dies. Ah, okay. So, what else is next? So we're going up the elevator. Oh, it's death. Hello, Timmy, dear. Ah, what the? <laughs> you, you look familiar. Wait, aren't you the Grim Reaper? Oh, am I famous or something? But Grim Reapers bring death. I'm seeing a Grim Reaper. Am I dying then? Uh... Uh... Uh, <laughs> awkward. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no answer, huh? I guess that means yes. But dying young isn't so bad, I guess. Unless I'm already too old to die young. <laughs> Interesting, you're different than most. And yes, as is written for you, you're going to die today. Oh, okay. So I guess my dream will stay a dream. Dying in my pajamas, in the warmth of home, with no drama. What a dream to have. Oh, what's that? A dream? I never knew you had a dream. This is getting even more interesting. Moo -hoo -hoo. Well then, good news or bad news? I have both. Honestly, good news, bad news, it makes no difference to me. Okay, I'll save the better for later. The bad news is you're going to die with your head cut off. All right. 
my head cut off, huh? Bad news indeed. But hey, good news. This thing only says you're going to die today. The when and where isn't really written. How does that help? Oh, wait. Does that mean I can still go home and die the way I want to? Well, that depends on how much you fight for it. But yeah, the day's still young. There's still technically like another 15 hours in this day. Okay, but wait, what's with the cheerleader attitude? <laughs> Indeed, aren't you the one who's going to kill me? Aw, oh, Timmy dear, do I look like a vicious evil creature who roams the world killing people? Not at all. Honestly, yes. We don't have time to discuss this right now. You should get going. Good luck. You'll need it. Alright. So I wonder what this entails. Beginning of the end. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's kind of like those Dark Souls get good pro tips, yeah? Game on. So we're on the office, the 37th floor. It's 6.55 a.m. All right, let's get going. So we, we jump. Yeah, there's jump. Okay, jump. Oh! What? Oh, <laughs> there's a death counter on the top over there. Okay. Whoop. There we go. Here we go. Keep it going. Oh! What the? What's going on here? Game on. All right, so that that thing is gonna fall. Oh, oh shoot. Okay, we collect some memento. Will be collected in open journal to check. Uh, this is a little. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? Whoop, Jesus. Okay. Uh, then then we should walk across. Okay, that that worked. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the fuck? Jump, and, oh, avoid that, uh, run across, and here comes the, whoa, 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 oh, whew, that was tough, wait, 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 oh, oh, I knew it, I fucking knew it, checkpoint, yay, hmm, they are really making this harder than it should be, what was that anyway, a skateboarding statue, I guess they really don't like it when people try to cheat death, who is they? What's happening? Who's they? My question, exactly. You know, there was a Moai head riding a skateboard and ice shards coming out of the ground, all nearly killing me. Yeah, well, things are only gonna get worse. Really? This might make things even worse, but I'll give you some help. I think you'll need this. Double jump. Yay. Oh, uh, jump twice to double jump. Double jump, like in video games? But like, what? How does that even work? Whoa, this is getting meta. That's against the law of gravity. When you're in midair, you wouldn't be able to gain force to... Shh, shh, shh. You really never change, huh? Anyway, you can double jump now, and you should use it. Now get going. Ugh, fine. This day keeps getting weirder. Oh, oh no! I wasn't even ready! <laughs> okay. Okay, oh! Oh, come the fuck on! Uh, okay, uh... What, what? Just, what the fuck? Yeah. Okay. Hey! Pixelated blood. Ooh. Oh, ah! This is... This is ridiculous. Ah! Really annoying. This is really fucking annoying. Hey, okay, uh, there. There. Yay, got a memento. What the fuck is that? Okay, we managed. Ah, checkpoint. Yay, got to the checkpoint. And what the. What are you? Do I- am I supposed to get in there? Hey, you! Yo ho ho! And a bottle of rum. Huh? Ah, uh, a zombie! Yo ho 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 ho! No need to be so surprised, Timmy! What? How do you know my name? Well, I mean, I'm the elevator zombie, you know. I'm always watching everyone in this office through the cracks. 
of the open elevator door, yo ho ho ho. That's interesting. I've never seen zombies outside of books and movies. Ah, yes, yo ho ho. I heard that humans love making up stories about zombies. And boy, you humans have some really disturbing imaginations. You're disturbing yourself, my friend. I mean, really, why would we eat human brains? Ew, gross. <laughs> Well, anyway, I was wondering, since you're probably the only human I can ask around here, do you think zombies are dead or alive? Dead? Hmm, that's an interesting question to ask. Well, according to the movies, that depends on why they became zombies. Like if it's because of a virus or a parasite or necromancy. So which one are you? Yo ho ho, forget all that fictional imaginary stuff. Just look at me. Here I am, a true real zombie, right in front of your eyes. As you can see, I can talk, I can move, I am so obviously alive. And most importantly, I feel alive, yo ho ho. Good to hear then. Hearing all this from you is giving me so much motivation for today. Which reminds me, not to be impolite, but I really have to go. Sigh, in a hurry as usual. Okay then, stay alive, yo ho ho, and don't believe anyone who tells you that zombies are dead. Ah, <sighs> that was interesting information. Alright. And... What the... What the... F what the fuck just happened? Oh. Oh, move? Oh, what? What? what Are you fucking kidding me? What the? Nah! This is hard. Avoid that. Avoid that. Avoid, 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 avoid. Avoid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sakes, how am I supposed to dodge that? Stay away from that shit. Stay away from that fucking sh Oh, yeah. What the? Oh, it's too close to the ground. What the fuck? What? <laughs> how am I supposed to avoid that? How am I supposed to fucking dodge that? Okay. Not that bad. All right, we did it. Look at us. Ugh, this game is aggravating. Oh my god. Perfect. <laughs> Everything's on fire. Such an extraordinary day in the office. Office ground floor. What? I need to read the text. Oh, bamboo spears. Now. What the fuck? What the fuck? Huh? <laughs> Bongo guy. Yeah. Checkpoint. Fucking bullshit. <laughs> Fucking bullshit! Ah! Ah! Ass! What? <laughs> I forgot about those. So don't double jump there. Okay. This is bullshit! Fuck! Come the fuck on. You have to remember all of this stuff. You have to fucking remember all of this stuff. Oh. What the? Are you fucking kidding me? Jesus! I made that jump! <laughs> okay. Yay, checkpoint! Oh, there's there's elevator zombie again. Hey you! Yay! Yeah, hey, hey. Is that the same one? Huh? Oh hey, it's you again. Again? I believe this is our first encounter, Timmy, my friend. Yay! Yeah, hey, hey. 
And did you perhaps mistake me for my brother? Oh, you're not the one I met upstairs? Are you guys related? Indeed, that is my brother. At times, I am the one upstairs. At other times, I am downstairs. Life in the elevator is full of ups and downs, you may say. Damn it, Barbara. Uh-huh, sure. Hmm, were you guys once human? Indeed, we are brothers, a pair of burglars. So that, okay. One night we broke into this building and took numerous things. Yay, hey, hey. The last thing I remember, however, we fell into this elevator shaft as we were trying to get out. And I was certain that we were about to die. Okay. But then, this is what we became. Not alive, but not truly dead either. It is as if we deserve neither life nor the afterlife. Or was I mistaken? Is this really the life after death that people speak of? I do not know. Why is this game getting philosophical all of a sudden? And then that foolish brother of mine, stubbornly believing he's still alive. Yay, hey, hey. We no longer breathe, have no need for food or sleep. Can you really call that life? It would be absurd to call us alive when we no longer have purpose, will to live, dreams. We do not even feel or want anymore. Honestly, I feel so dead. Ouch, that stings a little. But maybe you and your brother just have slightly different definitions of life? Yeah, hey, hey, I suppose so. Oh, pardon me, I realize you are in a rush. Please go ahead, live your day today. Huh, okay then, I should get going. Death is waiting for me. Why, of course, best of luck. And make no mistake, day death waits for everyone. Yay, hey, hey. Did we make it to the end? No? Well, shit. The office lobby. Whoa, 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 oh, no! Nah! Oh, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> ah, f I forgot. I forgot. I fucking forgot. Jump. Jump that. Oh, come on. This is so sad. Oh, shit. I forgot again. Oh, my God. I. Uh, uh, oh. oh, come on. Oh, come on. Come the fuck on. Yay. I have a bad feeling about this. Is this a boss? Hey, Timmy. Huh? Oh, hey, boss. Everything going well, Timmy boy? Hmm, let's see. A chopper crashed into the building. This office is in ruins. I've almost died numerous times. Let's just say I've had better days. Oh, well, at least you still look very well. Wag, wag, wag. What the fuck? But I do agree that today has been really brutal. Probably a little outside of your comfort zone, eh, Timmy? You don't even, don't, don't like, bleh, you don't even like listening to loud music, wag wag. And we're listening to loud music now. By the way, De Juan, this isn't a big deal, really. But I feel like I should say goodbye. What? Why the sudden melancholy? I've told you that listening to those depressing songs won't do any good. Come on now, Timmy boy. No, that's not it. Look, you wouldn't believe... That what the pig bull metal head? What the? Wait, wait, wait! What? What am I supposed to do? Oh come on! What am I supposed to do? I. Oh. Oh, come on! Am I supposed to react to that? Oh, yes. Okay, I'm supposed to react to it. What? <clears throat> From the beginning. Fuck off. <laughs> he jumped. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Ula. So it's like six. Two. Three. Four. Oh! oh. Yes. Oh, 
Yes. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, come on. Fuck. Two. Fuck. Ula. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh my god, this is hard. Yes. Yes. I fucking did it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, for crying. We've died 72 times. Oh my god. Hey you, what's happening? What happened to my boss? Does this happen to everyone on their last day to live? Define this. This, this, this. De deadly spikes, fachom stone, piercing bamboo, sharks in the puddle nonsense. Ah, that, moo -hoo, hoo Why, of course not, silly. As I said, you're different, you're special. And don't worry, your boss will be fine. This is so wrong. Like, he's he's supposed to be this ordinary guy, but the one thing that makes him extraordinary is the fact that he's gonna have to go through this messed up day. That is messed up. And everything will return to normal after this is all over. I think. <laughs> so why is this happening? You're telling me to go realize my dreams, giving me special powers and all? But weird things keep happening. It's like the universe is conspiring for my death and I keep your questions for later, Timmy dear. I'm taking you somewhere that should help you die the way you dream of. What? But... Where are we going? Pro tip, memento mori. Act completed. Beginning of the end. Uh... 72 total deaths, total playtime, 14 minutes. Approve? Let's approve. I mean, I guess this is one way of, like, you know, setting your records and all of that. Wow. Okay. So, okay, anyway, that's going to do it. I think I'm going to play this uh, a little bit uh, more in uh, in some other videos. So, I hope you're enjoying it. And if you are enjoying the rage, please leave the video a like and subscribe to my channel by mashing on that subscribe button because it helps a lot. I'd like to thank my patrons, as always, for supporting me. And you can do the same by hitting up patreon.com slash Aikibana Zero. That's going to do it with Rage and Peace for this time. I'm going to catch you next time.